Welcome to the channel, Excellence, where we strive for excellence. We strive to be one better than what we were yesterday. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a teacher. I'm just a common person. I'm just here to make you think. That's it. I'm here for the chosen ones. Where the chosen ones at? Like and share. The chosen ones. See, to be chosen is to be in your heart space. To be in your heart space is to have unconditional love for everyone. It is going to be difficult for the chosen ones to demonstrate unconditional love. Why? You see why. The world is full of hate. The more you try, the more hate is going to grow towards you. You're going to have to kill it. See, it's going to generate towards you. Because people are going to come to you. They see it. They see the light. They know the light. They want to follow the light. But they're too trapped in the darkness. People have came to me. And said. I don't want to be on drugs no more. How do you do it? You are a strong individual. I don't want to do this no more. They come to me for help. And I do what I can to help them. But when they see that they can't help no, they self and they come around me and they want to steal things or try to get things just so they can go out and get drugs. Because you showing them the love that they need to be shown because only healed people can heal people. Hurt people will hurt people. But once you are healed and you are trying to heal a hurt person, you will see what you have to kill. And it's not that person. A lot of times you have to kill the conversations. A lot of times you have to kill the interactions. Because when you are chosen, you continue to lead, live your life leading, living an example, leaving an example of who you are, what you're all about, and what you're working for this world to be. Remember, we moved out of the 3D where we're thinking in flesh and bones and for money and material things. We see every material thing in this world is nothing but garbage. Everything you eat is nothing but shit because all you're trying to do is make a turd. So you can go out there and buy a million dollar meal, but you cannot buy the appetite to eat it. You can go out there and buy a million dollars worth of anything, but do you have the appetite to enjoy it? See, the only way that you can buy a 300,000 foot yacht do you know the biggest thing everybody want? And a multi-million dollar house with all these rooms in it. There's only one way you can enjoy it. It's to utilize it. And to use it wisely. You cannot utilize that big ass house with you, your wife, and a dog, or two of them. People will build a room for their dog and treat their dog better than their children. 
and call themselves upright, independent, and fearless, righteous people. And see their children live in the street, push their children to the street, push their children to evil, push them out there in the devil's playground. You can be walking with your parents in his three playgrounds, hell, heaven, and eternal life, and they'll push your ass in the hell and close the door and take off running. Pay attention to life. I even had a young lady come to me and talk to me. Say I was violated last night. I know I went to sleep and I had my clothes on. And the guys took my clothes off. But went right back to them. If you don't know how to control yourself, and lead yourself to the promised land, you're destined for hell. Don't be a victim of circumstances. Just because things are not going right in your life don't mean you have to make yourself a victim. Because see, when the chosen ones chose, well, they didn't choose because they were born like that. God chose them from birth. See, they have no choice. They listen to the still small voice that speaks within them. They know if they go against that voice, the trials and tribulations that they have faced. So we have to stand fast and wake up early and get our instructions on how to deal with this world. How do we get our instructions? By communicating to one another. Because the only way that the universe speaks to the universe is it has to speak to the universe. So that means we have to speak to one another. See, there's no God. God is us raising each other to our highest state of consciousness and our highest state of being. If we want to make this world a better place, we have to start with ourselves. See, I can, I'm going to change this world because I have changed myself. I left Michigan and came to Georgia with $215 in my pocket on a journey on a quest to make things better for me, my son, and your son, your children, your mother, your grandmother, and everyone around me. Can I do it? Yes, without a doubt of contradiction. Am I concerned about money? No. Am I concerned about material things? No. Am I concerned about the heart of men, women, and children? Why, of course. See, God gave me a light with a laser to pierce the hardest hearts. And he said the only way, the only way that you can do it is to lead by example. Because you're dealing with hard-headed, stiff-necked people that won't change their lives at the point of a sword. They'd rather die. But then you have a lot of ones that would rather make a speedy reparation. That's why you have a lot of people that don't have the strength to get off of drugs because they're chasing death. And they've been chasing death their whole life. But this is a wake up call. This message is a wake up call for all of y'all who have an ear confirmation, that's Jason. Wow. See, that's confirmation. See, I just got a text from the most spiritual person that I've ran into since I, which the first person I met in Georgia, Jason. He's a real estate agent in Milledgeville, striving to make a difference in this world. 
the whole organization send me messages every day. Been doing it ever since I've been in Georgia. Which linked me to a lot of different organizations in Georgia. And a lot of profound people and a lot of great people. To where that's all we do. A lot of people that I have ran into. All of the people that I have ran into in Georgia. We speak, we talk, the same talk. We speak the same language. Our language is uplift and fallen humanity. Our language is how can we make this world a better place? Everyone that have contacted me, have come in any type of contact with me since I've been here, have had the same conversation. We have the conversation, but how many of us put it in action? Words say create and destroy, but action speaks way louder than words. A lot of people can talk to you till their ear fall off. A lot of people always say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But they ain't got off their ass and did nothing. So what do they qualify as? Just what they say. I'm a do. I'm a do. I'm a do. They are I'm a do's. That's what you call an I'm a do. See, you got people that I call I'm a do's. And then there are ones that I call Klingons. Ones that ain't going to go out there and try and get shit on their own. And going to try to cling on to you. Well, we call them crumb snatchers, all of that. Hood rats or whatever. But they ain't trying to make no progress in, their world, in this world for themselves, let alone anyone else, their children or no one else. See, it's time for each and every last one of us to stand up within ourselves. We see where this world is going straight to hell. You got people trying to fight people for no, no apparent reason at all. Why? I see this on Instagram. I see this on Facebook. I want to show Facebook how ignorant I am. Every confrontation that happened at my house has been recorded. Everything is on video. We got people jumping the back, tearing up stuff, putting stuff in the key locks. We got videos of everything. It's the camera in the eye, in my eye. Whenever you see my eye, it's a camera there. I'm filming my reality show. Footage I have so much footage of everything. You sit back and you watch it and you see how people will act. There's only one thing I wish I had got footage of and that was who killed my dog, but I didn't get footage of that one. That one got away. Life is deep. Be careful. Be careful how you treat people. You could be treating your blessing in disguise like hell and miss your opportunity to rise to your highest heights. Because you living in your lowest lows. A lot of things in life, people know not to do. 
You see the president walking with his secret service, man. You're not going to run up to him and try to slap him. Signs and symbols is for the conscious mind. When you see conscious people belonging to different organizations and doing certain things for the betterment of mankind, you just don't run up on them with foolishness and folly for no apparent reason at all. Because they already know that's what this world is about. They already know the ignorance and the animal instincts of everything. But please be careful, people. Because if you walk outside your door and you see a wild pit bull running wild, right? You're going to take caution coming out that house, right? And if that pit bull run up on you, you're going to do something to it, right? Pay attention. But you're going to avoid that dog. And if you avoid that dog, that dog better not chase you. Because if that dog going to chase you, you already produce the dog sleeping. If you got all your cats at a cat park and somebody, you see a wild dog walk in, everybody going to be prepared on that wild dog. They call us animals. I don't agree with them. I prove them wrong. Right is what you prove in them. We are not animals. You don't sit outside your car with three, four people in the car and calling other people and waiting for somebody to come home for nothing just so you can, because you feel like you want to raise hell. You rich. Create and I create hell. And you don't like they riches, realizing they trying to create heaven. So let me raise some hell. And they saying, no, I'm going to stay in my heaven. That don't make you a punk either. That's just staying in your peace and, and being intelligent. An intelligent person know how to make things work. Even relationships, conversations, everything. Smart people just do shit. They can do shit, but that don't mean they can make it work. You can make a light bulb thinking you smart, but somebody else gonna make it work. Trust me, it happened. People have built airplanes, tried to figure out how to make them fly. Never could, but they could build, they were smart enough to build the airplane, but somebody else was smart enough to make it fly. See, that's why they say every living thing is bound by core to every other living thing and blessed are the pure at heart. For they will learn to love and not demand love in return. They will not do to other people what they will not have people do unto them. For there are two selves, the higher self and the lower self. You better know what gives you apples that's lovely to the eye and pleasant to the smell, but it's full of bitterness and galls. <laughs> and study yourselves know who you are know how to rise in harmony this world is changing it's time out for all that fussing and fighting we uniting we ain't fussing and fighting we got signs and symbols of consciousness of uniting See, we know we are weak when we stand alone, but we are strong in unity.
Do you see how strong I can think? But to have a spirit, a female spirit that guides me, that thinks the same, is even greater. And see, I have a spirit that dwells in me. And I know it's called a twin flame where you have been with someone all your life and your sole mission is to do the same thing. But y'all may not be together, living together, having sex or whatever, but spiritually and mentally, you have that, a connection that no one can ever break. See, I always knew that she was my heavenly wife. And I knew I never had to touch her or lay down with her or nothing. Because it's how her heart is fixed on my growth and development and how my heart is fixed on hers. She in Detroit. I'm in Georgia. And we on the same mission, doing the same thing, saying the same things to everybody with the same consciousness, the same love, the same thinking, reasoning, willing, and understanding in the heart. And what's so good about it, our children, and our grandchildren and their children have always united as a family. And all of them look at each other as family. And I never had to say her name. She knows who she is. She's a goddess of the same temple. And when I say temple, I'm not talking about a building where you meet. When I say the temple, this is the temple. When you can unite and join that yoke together, remember your chain is only as strong as its weakest link. When that yoke is joined at the heart, And not at the womb. is solid. As a rock. I come to y'all in love. I leave y'all in peace. You can follow Sunny Sun on Facebook. But I would tell you to follow. The goddess of them all. No, I ain't going to do that. <laughs> y'all know who she is. <laughs> I come to y'all in love. I leave y'all in peace. Watch universal, unconditional love evolve on this channel. The Chosen One, Excellence. I'm out.